What's up, peeps, and welcome back to the Lionel B Show. It's your first time tuning into the channel. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe on the videos, man. Also, make sure y'all click that notification bell button so anytime I drop a brand new video, y'all be the first ones to get it. Now, some of y'all, if y'all are not receiving my brand new videos, man, make sure you hold down the bell button and make sure it says all instead of personalized. Now, it's a crying shame to be a scammer, and it's even worse when you're scamming in the name of Jesus. Now, a local company owned by Dana Chanel and her husband are currently under fire for finessing hundreds of hardworking black people out of their money with her app building business called Alakazam and also Sprinkle of Jesus. Like I told you, Brittany, I keep telling you, it's all right to be a copycat. You just have to copy the right cat. Mm -hmm. So when I went ahead, favorite brand, Glossier, right? Mm -hmm. I went ahead and saw that she was like doing like $100 million in revenue with freaking 10 products. So I was pretty damn curious, right? And so um, I learned a little bit, but that's neither here nor there. What I really love is that look at this packaging. It's not just the regular bubble wrap. It's actually a Ziploc bag. Which I love, especially because one of our highest s selling products are oils. Mm -hmm. Instead of um, taking all the time to take that little plastic thing off, what's it naming? Because I want you to remember that every single day, no matter the smallest teensy weensy thing that like takes up time, that's money that we're wasting. I mean, the name alone just makes you want to throw a Bible at her. Now, speaking of Bible, she got an app like that too. And she's pimping people on that one as well. Now, they have posted several stories on social media regarding her fraud ring all over the Internet. And recently, the Shade Room was actually one of their longtime partners reposted the story also. Now, people even started a petition ballot on change.org and there is a federal investigation going on. I'm talking about with the FBI, the FTC, the CIA, everybody. Now, I want y'all to check out the many testimonies from disgusted clients that have been scammed out of thousands and thousands of dollars. And apparently, Dana Chanel and her husband, they've been using all that money they've been stealing from people to finance their lifestyle. Crazy stuff, man. To me, it pretty much sounds like Carly Red's ex-husband. Y'all check this out. I definitely think you should post this because I think people should hear this. I just got off the phone with Build Fire. BuildFire is a software developer app that Dana Chanel has been fronting Alakazam apps as the original. They are not a software developer company. They are a third party company. Now, what they told me is that they have an option that's called Enterprise. If you look at their pricing option, it'll have you'll see it there. You pay fifteen hundred dollars a month. That allows anybody that pays that to sublease their software and help and make other apps or different artists or whatever it is that you want to do. You can make as many different apps as you want as long as you pay $1,500 a month. What Dana Chanel and them are doing is they're they're taking your money for whatever amount that you have on the media. You feel like you got a deal for paying $500 down, but she's just taking the money. And whenever you guys clear it and she does decide to make the app, she can't. And whenever you guys get a little sassy or you feel away, she's able to do whatever she wants and blackball you. Why? Because it's under her domain. If you want to make an app, go directly to the source. Go to BuildFire, look online of top you know, um, um, app software developer companies because what they're doing is they're able to cripple anyone this way because they're having free money come in. And what she's doing is when you take that payment, it is funneling in to um, a sprinkle of Jesus app where it looks like her company is pulling in all of this money and doing so well. And it's only because you guys are donating. We are not even just you guys. We are because she she got me as well. We are giving her our money to funnel to make her company look good because on my bank statements, it shows that sprinkle of Jesus took out. His not Alakazam. If Alakazam was their own company. It would say that if she had a LLC for this legitimately, it would say this. Do not do this, guys. She is found a loophole to take free money. And this is how she's doing it. Also, Build Fire has no clue this is going on. Um, and they, you know, they just know that they 
they are in business with them as far as the $1,500 that she's paying them off. So think about this, guys. $1,500 that she's paying. You guys are giving her thousands of dollars. And that same amount, you can just give directly to Build Fire. They have no clue this is going on. But as of July 2nd, um, I got an email from Alakazam Apps because I guess the heat is turning up on them so much that now they have decided to use a totally different app software, um, a different portal, and all of that. So if you currently have Alakazam apps and you currently work with them and you see like, oh, I'm using a different portal, this is because every time that the heat turns up, she keeps changing her portal. And it says that they're upgrading it for best, better service, but they're just hopping around and creating new portals under their same Alakazam scam. Don't do it, guys. Because I know a lot of people are like, oh, well, it's not a big deal because, you know, it's all under the same umbrella, same business. But no, um, that is called embezzlement. And, you know, it's not right because I, I was not sold on that idea. Um, and I was not sold on the idea that I was going to be making an app um, that I had no control over. Um, these are the things that's not being told to you fully. Um, and because of that, um, all of the stuff that's saying breach of contract and all that stuff, do not feel threatened. If you have purchased anything with Dana Chanel in the last 90 days, call your bank. I'm telling you right now, call your bank, print out that fake ass contract that they get, make you sign and show your bank that I signed up with this company that does not exist. This payments are going to this company and you will get your money back. Why? Because that is false. She's falsely leading you guys into funding another company. That's not what you guys signed up for. And I understand that everyone wants to feel like, hey, it's you know, well, she's just doing her thing and I don't want to bring another woman down, but it's not right because she is also in that same breath that everyone is saying that she is uh, uh, doing everything that she can. She is crippling. She's crippling people. I'm talking crippling like $5,000, $10,000, people that's paid $7,000 in hopes of a new life, of a new life. The life that she's living, the life that she has, having the husband and the views and the, the, the bay goals that she has, people are spending their last to be able to have that dream. And what she's doing is she's taking it and she's rubbing it in your face. If you pay attention to her last few posts, all of her, all she's telling all of everybody in a nice, with a nice fake ass smile is, I got your money. I'm sorry. I'm not sorry. Stop giving her the money. Someone has to say something. She has shade room and ball alert and all these people on payroll. You have to find a new source so that force these sites, shade room and all these, force them to not be able to ignore this anymore. Right? We're at a point where anytime that the shade room finally turns on the people that's on their payroll is when they do not have no other choice. Apply the pressure to all of these sites to come out. Your favorite stars, people that are sitting there uh, taking pictures with her. She even the other day, shout out DC Young Fly and all that other shit. Keep applying the pressure that you guys are applying. If you guys feel like your voices aren't being heard, I promise you that they are. And I promise you that they are because for someone who's only been dealing with her since June, two, two months ago, only been dealing with them since June and been following them since probably by early January. You guys have just in two months have done so much to that's eye opening. And she is under the pressure. She can say that she doesn't care. She can go ahead and do all that. When you guys read these messages, you guys will even see that they're bothered and praying for to, for people to believe whatever narrative it is. Keep doing what you guys are doing, but apply pressure in other ways it can't just be on post and do stories make shade room baller alert anybody that is sitting there and publicly supporting her that you know that will change their opinion quick once uh, uh there that he is applied do it do that